welcome to each topic in today's video we are going to discuss some extra questions of chapter 12 mysql class 10 computer science so let's proceed with our uh, video the first question is what is the full form of mysql the full form of mysql is my structured query language number two who developed mysql there are three developers for mysql you can learn all of their names but if you cannot remember all the three names still one name you should remember number three what are the main categories of mysql commands there are five or six there are six categories or oh sorry five categories they are ddl dml tcl dcl dql with full form you learn the name of categories Number four, what is the use of DDL command? Name to command available inside DDL. DDL command is used to define database structure to DDL command are create and alter. Number five, what is the use of DML command? Name any to command available inside DML. DML command is used to manage the data in a database to DML command are select and insert number six write the mysql command to check the version of mysql server so answer is select version terms of bracket on and close number seven write the mysql command to view the existing databases so the answer is so databases databases to plural form of thakibo number eight write the sql command to create a database name school it will be create database school so here in place of school the equation of the employee by company write the sql command to create a database with name company then the answer will be create database company number nine write the sql command to activate the database name school so it will be use school question of jiko no dia company dia tete hole likhiba use company write the sql command to delete the database name school so answer will be drop database school name any two popular uh, name any one popular rdbms application it is my sql then next question what is the difference between delete and drop command delete command e ki kore table or vitor akal information kini delete kore but structure to thakki jai but drop command e gutte kini delete kore de structure to delete kore de jeti aami drop command use kore table khan delete kore ta teku na thakke aku aami te table or vitor kiba information bhara bala gile table khan create kori bala hibo but aami jodhi delete command e delete koro te te akal information kini delete hobo aku aamak jodhi dorkar pari akal information kini aami insert kori bala paro table khan aku create kori bala dorkar nai Number 13, what is the characteristic of to select a data type? At a data type select I mean mainly a data mondi bolage, kiman storage lagibo, aru key type or value that represent koibo. Either it can be number, string, or date. Number 14, what is the difference between character and worker? So character is used for fixed length string and worker is used for variable length string character is faster than worker then next question what is a table in mysql it is intersection of rows and column what do you mean by degree of a table it is the number of column in a table what is cardinality of a table it is the number of row in a table what is a record a complete set of row is called record then which command is used to create a table in mysql command uh, mysql it will be create table then next question write the syntax to create a table so the syntax is create table table name column name then data type bracket of it of size then constraint comma then dot 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 comma bracket close semicolon write the sql command to display the structure of a table name student it will be desc student bar describe student number 20 what is the use of insert command 
insert command is used to add data to the table then next question what are constraint name any two constraint constraints are the rule that help to ensure data through constraint while entering data in a table two constraint are primary key and not null write the mysql query to display the all records from the student table it will be select star from student number 23 write the sql command to delete gender column from the student table it will be alter table student drop gender write the sql command to add a new column gender which can hold m or f data after gender column in student table so yate notun column eta add koribo lage gender aru hei column tu ahibo age column or password aru hei tu column ot just m ba f information he stored hobo man just eta character for that reason we will write alter table student add gender character 1 will take the data database character and size is 1 because it's hold only one character and i will write after age if i will not write after age it will directly add it to the last position then next write the sql command to rename the student table to student info and a student table to name to hobo like student info so it will be alter table student rename student info first alter table student to puroni name to dim tar pasot rename or pasot ami jonto notun name dibo khujo to table or karone hei name to dim 26 write the sql command to delete the table student ya jodi delete ba drop boli koi command same hobo hobo drop table student write the sql command to add primary key to the employee id field of employee table jodi ama primary key add kori bodi to command ahibo alter table tar pasot table or naam to it can be employee school anything whatever in question paper it's given tar pasot ahibo table naam or pasot alter table employee sorry here i have um, did a silly mistake alter table employee student to na lage add primary key tar pasot emp id then write the sql command to remove primary key from the table employee so it will be alter table employee drop primary key yate student or jagat employee hibo karon table or naam to employee ase so these are two silly mistake here that i have made it will be employee and in this command that student word is not required then next what are the different ways to retrieve data from a table the different ways are selected column and all rows selected rows and all columns selected rows and selected columns then how can you retrieve selected rows from a table we can retrieve selected rows from a table by using where close then number 31 how can you eliminate duplicate values from a table we can eliminate duplicate values by distinct clause then next question can you add not null or null constraint after creation of the table directly we cannot add null or not null constraint after creation of the table but by using modify command we can do this what do we mean by null value null value means unknown value jeti amar table ot ami eku value insert no koru ba ki value insert koribo lage ami na janu then ami ki koru tat null likhit hoy dim null means it is an unknown value what are the rules for naming a table the rules for naming a table are a table name can have maximum 30 character it can contain character a to z capital a to z small a to z and number 0 to 9 a table name should begin with an alphabet the special character underscore is allowed to join two words it cannot have any spaces in between and it cannot have any reserve word like create alter drop so a get a whole mysql chapter or ketaman important question and uh, yet ketibakani application based question who did that a table take about table opera question could be so that type of question i will discuss in the next video i hope you gain some knowledge from this video for your examination thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care
and bye